Yeah! Hola gang and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, I'm your Old Nerd of the Day and I try things so you don't have to. Today I am reviewing February's Munch Pack. Munch Pack, if you're not in the know, is a monthly mystery subscription box filled with snacks from around the world. The reason I like Munch Pack so much and think it's so groovy is because no Munch Pack is the same. My February Munch Pack is going to be completely different from your February Munch Pack because it's packed by somebody different who selected different stuff. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell next to it and that will send you out a reminder every time a new video comes out. Okay, let's break in and the card on the top says this Munch Pack was made with love just for you by Roxanne. Roxanne! You don't have to put on your... No. Thank you, Roxanne. Yeah, this thing is hefty this month. Holy moly, Gorgonzoli. All right, let's see what is in here. Where do I even start? What I figured I'd do is just go through everything that's in the box, show you what's in here, and then I'd pick a couple different things to try. All right, first thing out of the box is a one ounce package of wrap snacks. These are Fetty Wap Honey Jalapeno flavored potato chips. And I have no idea who that dude is, I'm sure. Probably one of you out there knows. Next is a four, 45 gram box of Hello Kitty wafer cookies. These are green tea flavored. Next, there's a 50 gram box of Lot Lodi double dip Peppero. Here is a package of Finny Roller candy. This is a blue raspberry flavor. Okay, this is almost entirely in Asian. This is a package of kabaya, I guess. Um, they look like they're little kind of creamy, chocolatey, vanilla-y wafer cookies. Next out of the package, it oh, gummies! This is a package of Haribo the Smurfs gummies. Well, the gummy half was good. I absolutely hate Smurfs. Okay, um, this is entirely in another language. Um, it looks like one of those little packets that you, you make up your food. It looks like a cookie maker, vanilla, chocolate, something like that. Um, it's more likely Japanese because I know that the Japanese just love putting out this kind of stuff. I think these are kind of a wafer cookie. These are from uh, I think the Z is silent. Uh, Vekivo ve <laughs> Samo Tea plus Banana Crema. Yeah, it says these are milk chocolate with banana. Next, I have a bottle of something. Um, it's kind of a ginger ale type of color. Uh, it says this is a carbonated beverage. Uh, a Kimura? I don't know exactly, but it has a, a nice little oriental kitty on the front. Okay, these kind of look like chips. This is a package and I can't read anything on it, but it looks like Pringles chips on the front. And last out of the box is a package by Maiji. These are Choco Babies. They look like little, little, they actually look like little rabbit poops, but I'm sure they're not. They, maybe they're little chocolate candies. So all of that comes to 11 items in this box. Nice bunch of snackies. So the first thing I'm going to try is these things that look like Pringles potato chips. And they come out looking like that. Those are baby Pringles. These things are just so tiny and cute. Look at that. It looks like a Pringle. Um, very little salt on it, it seems. Let's try it out. It's got a tiny bit of sweetness to it, but essentially this is, these are Pringles potato chips and, and they're yummy. I love Pringles potato chips. And, and these are even better. I think the sweetness is coming from the type of potato it's made from. So it's nicely salted with a nice, really nice potato flavor to it. I like these. Next, I'm going to try this 
carbonated beverage to see exactly what this is. Screw off cap. Trying to get a smell. It does kind of smell like ginger ale. And, and I'm not sure if that's because that's in my head, but it does kind of smell like ginger ale. Let's try it out. It is. It's, it's like a, a dumbed down version of ginger ale. Not as powerful. The carbonation is pretty strong. It's pretty over the top. Um, but I like this. I think I'm going to break into these little cookies now um, with the little panda bear type of faces on them. That is indeed a panda bear. Little cookie on the front and it kind of goes through, oops, kind of goes through with the chocolate on the back and there's the panda bear. That guy looks a little bit angry, doesn't he? Smells chocolate. Let's try it out. It's got a deep um, milk chocolate flavor, you know, not like a more expensive chocolate, but just a candy bar, a regular candy bar type of chocolate, but it's a deeper milk chocolate to it. And with the crunch of that cookie, um, these are pretty good. And the last thing I'm gonna try is the wrap snacks. And it's because they're honey jalapeno, and I know you guys are sadists and like me to eat these hot things that my stomach absolutely hates. I get more of a jalapeno smell to it than a honey smell. There's what they look like have a uh, coloration of a barbecue chip. I I'm, know I'm, it's not going to be a barbecue chip. Let's try it out. Hmm. The, um, the honey and the jalapeno balance each other out. It is like a nice barbecue chip. It does have a sneaking, ever sneaking heat to it. That's hitting the back of my back of my tongue and the back of my throat but overall this is just a good barbecue chip with a bite I like it and that is all for February's munch pack uh, nicely packed thank you again Roxanne if you guys are interested in taking a look at all munch pack has to offer I'll put a link down below and you can check that out for yourself there you go gang another unboxing in the bag thanks so much for watching remember I put out videos every Sunday Tuesday and Friday. You can hit me up on my social networks, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, at Old Nerd Reviews and become a part of that Old Nerd crony community. Uh -huh. You guys have a freaking awesome day and I'll see you next video. Bye now.